Are you single? No. <laughs> okay. Sure. What's so, your relationship yeah, no, like? Yeah, what's the step with your... With Sorry, I was just watching Milk oh, no. Manor on Sunday, and I've oh. I just been possessed by all kinds of weird thoughts. Here it comes. Let, 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 let's get right into it. So let me check the list here. We've got our wonderful callers. Mm -hmm. uh, Vanessa, 21, wonderful member. Thank you. They're 21. Having, they're, Fuck you. They're having issues on... If they should invite their relatives to their wedding or not. Well, let's let's talk. Let's hear about it. That is a that's a you know that's a big question. When how long ago was your wedding? My wedding was ten years ago. Was was there any like uh, people who you were like oh, let's leave them out? Well, so my wedding was in Israel, oh. and uh, anyone that I would have wanted to leave out would, wouldn't who wouldn't have wanted to make the trip, trip anyway. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Did you combine birthright and your wedding? That would have been kind of. That would have been a nice cost-saving thing, but I was li I was actually living there. Oh, okay. Yeah, appreciate that though. Okay, let's talk to a. Uh... Wait, her name's Venus. Okay, she got the Venus Emily names, but her first name's Venus. Let's talk to Venus. All right, let's talk to Venus. Uh, give me one second. Let me move. Them. Venus sounds a lot like penis. I've just occurred to me. That's is, that's the most. Con I hope that's the most controversial thing said today. Today. Me too. Me too. It's All right, I'm bringing in uh, Venus right now. One second. Okay, uh, Venus, are you there? I see that you are muted. Can you unmute your microphone, please? We got the yeah. best. Oh, there. There you go. There's Venus. Venus. Awesome. Hi, how are you guys? Venus, uh, before we get, is that that's your first name, Venus? Yeah, that's that's my uh, non-government name. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Respect. Keep the government out. And Emily is your government name? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, okay, fair enough. And do you, and your thoughts on Venus actually sounds a lot like penis. Is that an issue for you? No, that's actually a really good thing. As like a double drag performer, I have like both mm. like a masculine and feminine performance. Mm. I can be penis and Venus. Oh, we love that. We love, 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 love that. All right, Venus, why don't you Tell us a little bit about your issues, and let's see if we can help you resolve, navigate. Okay. So I uh, met my boyfriend three years ago on Tinder. It surprisingly worked out, which was a huge shock to me. Um, and uh, we met a month before COVID began, which was really super fun. Um, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Ethan. I can't hear you on this end. Oh, he didn't, he didn't say anything. Oh, I might be behind. Uh, my apologies. Um, so basically, his parents did something very not nice. And uh, I basically would pick him really up from his house. And um, they got really mad at me. So mm -hmm. I made a TikTok about it because I was a dumbass 18 year old and thought that my view was small <clears throat> and she saw it and she's been really really upset ever since even though I apologize and you know that kind of was like it for me whatever and then one time she um, and this is his mom. She told him, she, he goes, you know, what you're saying is really affecting her negatively. And, you know, she feels, you know, depressed. And she, and she goes, well, why would you want to be with someone like that for the rest of your life? Mm. Okay. I want to back up a little bit. We're going to need some details about Yes about what they did. First of all, is that a good place to start? Yeah. If you're cool, if you're cool with sharing it. Mom, you, when I'm talking on the phone, you're going to have to give me a sec. Oh, what, wait, what's going on there? Oh, my mom's just delivering a package to me. You live with your mom? Yeah, I, I'm a, you know, young. Yeah, you're uh, young, I get did, it. Yeah. Did, you, did you run this issue by, by her as well? Oh, my, yeah, they, 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 they know, they know okay. about, uh, oh, mom, they're on the screen right okay. there. But Can your mom say hi to us or no? Mom, you want to say hi? Hi guys, how's it going? Hey mom. Hi mom. She's probably aware of this issue we're about to take on. Yeah, um, I want to. I want to hear her. I want to hear the whole issue first, but then I, I'd love to hear your, your mom's 
take after we get. Is your mom available? Mom, Not like single. Like I mean, like available for the phone call. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yes, I can do that. Yeah, she can. Yeah, she okay, can come great. sit in with us. Uh, we're talking and, about uh, someone's uh, or my my relationship and the current issues we're having with the the parents. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Now, now, let me just put something out there. The first time you put this on TikTok, and that was the root of your troubles. Is it possible that doing this call live on the show <laughs> it's gonna make it could worse. also probably create a further riff? Or you, you know, thi- when you said Emily, I was like Cam, but it's okay. We're we're going full balls to the oh, walls. It's live. Okay. Shit. So we're we're one hundred percent out there. My, yeah, but we're going to keep my name Venus. Venus, and, Venus, Venus. So are you sure um, you want to do this? I'll give you that oh, yeah. out. Okay. We're going to say I'm Venus and I'm from Canada. So, so Venus from Canada. What, um, so by the way, with the, with the wedding, is it like you're not sure whether to invite your boyfriend's mom? Both parents. Both the parents. What, uh, so when you talked to your boyfriend about this whole situation, what what was his take? Is that causing like uh, some conflict between you guys? You know, like after three years, we're both kind of like over it. Like, okay. you know, I've apologized and, you know, I've I, I feel and I hope that I've put a lot of effort into trying to redeem the relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, But I just feel like it's going nowhere. And, you know, it's, it's painful not having a relationship with, you know, uh, your, like, your step or not step family and and, in-laws and stuff like that. We we must go back to the genesis of this issue. Uh, (laughs) We, we have to understand the conf, the birth of this conflict. Okay, so this was like week two or three into COVID. Like mm-hmm. nobody, nobody knew what was going on really. However, we both, like both of both of us, did not go outside at all. And you know, he was feeling upset that he couldn't come with me, and he had an argument with his parents, and. You know, I don't like to inject into other people's and other parents' arguments, except when someone punches a hole in the door. That that was like that a metaphor? No, that's dead ass. Okay, that's dead ass. It sounds like a metaphor. Is dead ass a metaphor? No, dead ass is like straight up, like straight up. Okay, yeah, like no cap. Wonder what that meant. So the so 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 so. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'm trying to parse the information here. You went out during COVID. He wanted to come with you. They got in an argument that resulted in his, no, no, no. his mom or dad punching a hole in the wall. He wanted to. I hadn't gone out. He hadn't gone out. He wanted to come over for like a couple <laughs> hours at my house, stay at my house, just us two hanging out. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. And, and the resulting argument ended up with the, one of his parents punching a hole in the wall? Yes. Okay, well, that that that's definitely some kind of anger issue going on back there for sure. Is that is that, is that the 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 sort of extent of of what the initial thing was about? Yeah, there's something missing. Yeah. Is there anything missing? That's it. The, yeah, that okay. that was basically it. I mean, well, why did there... that? The, I feel yeah. there's something missing from this. Well, look from from what you told us. I mean, if we're gonna li- if we're gonna be in the future with where the wedding is. What, can can I hear just a little bit like I know that this happened a while ago. What is your relationship with them like today? Um, so I have not seen them since Halloween. Okay. Halloween, I said hi, okay. and that was and that was about it. Uh, I need to understand why was punching a hole in the wall so problematic to you? Hmm. Um. It scared me. But were you there? I was FaceTiming him at the time. Okay, so you saw it on the screen and that scared you. Yeah. yeah, and you know, nobody wants to see someone or hear someone potentially. Like, I didn't know if it was going to ex- escalate further. Sorry, yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah, come yeah. up at all. 
It's a, the the hole in the wall. Just I I think is representing just a general like expression of of uh, the boyfriend's parents like anger shit maybe. But uh, again, are you afraid that they're gonna come to your wedding and like violent pu punch a cake or no, like also kind of no. act out? Let me ask no. you this to probe further. She said no. Sorry. No, have they hit Have they hit him before? Hmm. Um. I no. I don't want to. I don't now per no. Okay, I, I'm reading between the lines. And on the call, was your boyfriend scared? Yes. Mm. I see. I see. Um, what is his relationship with like with them nowadays? Um, you know they're pretty close. It's just like you know how you like you have you know how Ethan you have that T word that you don't bring up. Yes. I'm Caleb. Trisha Paytas. <laughs> I'm Caleb's like we just don't talk about the parents because it you know it makes both of us kind of just a little bit more sensitive because you know uh -huh. luckily my mom is really really kind to him and we, we he stays over a lot he's like yeah it's awesome so here's here's what I'm gonna tell you families are complicated and listen what's happened to him in his life I don't have the whole backstory you guys are young, you know what I mean? There's going to be a time in your life where you'll be able to move out and be on your by yourselves without the influence of anyone else. But I will say this, and you tell me what you think. I'm putting this out there. I think that you should invite them mm. because you can't go back and re-invite them. You know what I mean? Like, invite them mm. in the hopes that, you know, some something... You're able to resolve this somehow amicably in the future, but I, I, I was thinking a similar thing because I th I think there is something to be said about the the path of least resistance. You mm. know, I mean, it, again, it'd be one thing if you felt as though uh, uh, you know they were going to come and, and uh, punch fucking holes right. in the wall at the wedding, but right. if again, there's something to be said about avoid it because I feel like with these people's anger issues, like mm. if they don't, if if they're not invited to the wedding, it might bubble up more. Oh, yeah. But then I'm like, well, then, but you can't just have that as like a thing hovering over your head, like dictating your actions. The thing is, he's still there. He's still part of their lives. Right. So. What does your boyfriend think, or your fiance, or does he? Well, I'm want very curious to, what he thinks. Yeah. Does he want um, to invite them? He, well, he he's kind of on board with me, but my mom also is. It, if it's okay, she would like to say something. Yes, as please. Well. I would love to hear from from your mom. So, my take on this is invite them, and if they choose not to come, that's on them. But she did the right thing by inviting them. Your mom, your mom has it all figured out, mm -hmm. Venus. She's, she's a awesome. wise woman. And Someone a great get woman. her mom a gecko cost. Yeah, she's a wise woman. Yes. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, I got a good feeling about that mom of yours. You know, it's, you know, it's Jewish mom things. You get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I talk to your mom? Is she there? What's your mom's I'm name? Right here, yeah. Or give me an alias so that, uh... Um, Sam. Sam, okay. Who's Sam. Sam, I... <laughs> it's, it's a, it's Sam a... I don't know why I get this feeling, but are you single? No. <laughs> okay. Because there was no mention of the dad. So no, sure, sure. Here. What's so, your relationship yeah, no, like? Yeah, what's the step with your with your husband? Yeah, you guys have a solid thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> for sure. Nice. Mm. What was your wedding hey. like? Sorry, I was just watching Milk okay. Manor on Sunday, and I oh. got I just been possessed by by uh, all kinds of weird thoughts. We um <laughs> we actually eloped in Scotland because my oh. mother in law tried to take over my wedding, so we in all right, so, yeah. Scotland. So I I get where she's coming from. Uh, to all this to say, I, Emily, uh, Venus, it sounds like you have uh, good folks in your life. You know what I'm saying? So I think a couple of uh, looming bad apples shouldn't, you know, take away from the fact that it sounds like you have a life filled with love and a cool mom and uh, a cool name, too. So That's dive, totally dive into all that. Totally not Emily. It's totally Venus. No, yeah. I, I, who's I'm Emily? happy for you. Who's Emily is a good question. I never heard of it. I don't even know why I'm saying it. Mom, um, what do you, is your mom a good cook? What is her specialty? Oh, Does she have a special a, dish? She's the she's one of the best cooks ever. What's um, her what's her, her her dish? Yeah. 
there's a lot of them right now. I'm really liking her quiche. Um, mm. quiche is really good. What, um, she what also, is a quiche? You don't I know what quiche, quiche is? I believe a quiche is like an egg cheese based kind of pie with oh, stuff okay. in it. Do I have that right? Yeah, egg yeah. pie. Yeah. It's I call it egg pie with like meat in it. My mom egg adds pie. like bacon or uh, ham. All right, listen, y'all. Y'all got it. Figured out. Invite them. But is your dad a big guy? Can you throw down? <laughs> no. I mean, he's big, but he can throw down. He's not going to like the way you laughed about that. Jesus well, you should, you should invite Ethan and he can be the bodyguard instead. Oh, Sounds yeah. Good. Ethan, if you ever do need uh, any contacts into the drag world, let me know. I have oh. a few. Oh, okay. That's great. Thank you. Of yeah, course. I'd love to come to the wedding, but I'm not allowed in Canada. I was arrested for trafficking. Oh, you know what? That is correct. Back in uh, 95. I'm learning so much about you. Yeah, I'm not allowed. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. We uh, appreciate it. Keep those quiches coming, Mom. And Venus, totally not Emily. Have a great wedding, okay? God bless you, Venus. Yeah, God bless. Thank you guys so much. Peace right. and love. Love you guys so much. Peace and love. Bye. What's, what's your relationship thank you, Venus. with your mom? I think we just, I think we just solved the case. Well, no, her mom did. We didn't do anything, but uh, yeah, her mom, her mom kind of got yeah. ahead of that. Yeah, I think you may have opened up a case or two. <laughs> well, you know what? She was, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, they don't hear this. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. It's okay. Yeah, nobody watches this show. That was a warm up. Yeah, you're right. Nobody watches this show. What were my, how are my relationship with my parents? No. Well, you do. You it's been extent. It's an extensive topic of conversation on this show. Do but break? overall, good. Okay. Good with some asterisks. What? Uh, what? What are the asterisks? I assume you've talked about them before, but. Well. How it's like I want to give my dad a break at this point. Mm -hmm. His you mom know, I guess, is a very sweet lady, and she's very beloved by this community. His dad. We. Is, is well, is, has respect. Smash that yeah. like button. He's part of the show. He's, you know, very pervy, and which I think he would read. He, you know, he's pervy. He goes to Dodger games and stabs beach balls. Really? What do you think happened to him to make him like that? Well, I know, and it's, 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 it's. You know, he he was abandoned by his father when he was oh, like five. Okay. Very tragic and awful. Okay. Yeah. And in the role of a lifetime, Gary. His Let's name's take Gary. a call. His name's Gary. H. Factory.